In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can change things in a database, but doing it from Delphi side using code. And in the previous video of the series, we looked at how do we insert a brand new record. In this video, we're looking at how do we edit a record. In other words, a record that currently exists, how do we change some of that information? And that's very different to putting in a brand new record. So in this case, we, we've got the information there, we just want to change it. So very similar to an insert, there are three key steps to editing a record. Now we are going to be using a table called TBLCD, that's the ADO table that's connected to a database that contains information about CDs. And the three steps are as follows. The first step is we put, we go into edit mode. Now the key step with edit mode, the key thing to remember is that your database has almost like a pointer which points at the different records in um, the database, almost like the one that's that's active at that particular point, the one that it's that it needs to work with. So you need to make sure before you go into edit mode that you are at the correct place in your database. You are at the record that you want to change because that's the one that will be put into edit mode. Not the whole database, but just that particular record. Once you are in edit mode, you can then change the values. Now you can change one value, you can change all the values, you can do anything you want as long as you follow the rules. For example, if you change the primary key for some reason, you must make sure that it's not blank and that it's a unique value and those type of rules. And they make sure that they're the right type of format or the right data type. So those are things that you would do when you are changing those values. And then once you've finished changing those values, you then will post the results. Again, what the post does is if something had to go wrong between the edit mode and the post mode, then it would not make those changes. It's almost like a fail safe. If something goes wrong and we didn't do all the changes, let's say you're changing three values or three fields in a particular record and you go into edit mode, you change rec the field one and then the power goes out and it didn't get to change the other two. Now, what would happen? Well, because it didn't post the results, it almost rolls back those um, changes so that it so that it doesn't affect the database. So at least you don't so you don't have to worry about if it if it failed then it's got half the values in and so on. Or half the values that are changed. So those are the three steps. So as I said, when you are changing a, a record, the, there's two key ways of changing a record with regard to which record are we changing. Now the one case is if you are changing a particular record. Now, I would recommend that you use some sort of locate or some sort of way to go to the record that you want to change. Okay, so make sure that you go to the record that you want to change and then you can change it. Some people might click on, on the database uh, DB grid and move the pointer to where they want to change or you could use a locate. However, sometimes you want to change a lot of records. And if you go back to our video about the traverse algorithm or, or your first principles, where there is a way to change multiple records by going through the entire database. And we'll do an example of both of these. So here we have our program. You can see we've got a DB grid which contains information about some CDs. Um, all of the connectivity is done in a data module. Over here there's this data module. And you can see that there's the connection made. There is our ADO table, which is TBLCD, which is connected to the CD table in our CD database. And then we have a data source which helps us to view the information in this DB grid. And we are going to edit some records. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a program where we want to edit a particular CD, maybe one CD, and we want to change the replacement value. You could do a change where you actually change it to a brand new value or you can edit like let's say we want to increase it by 20 or whatever so we can do something like that so let's click on the edit record button so what I've done is I've asked the user to input the replacement value that it must change a bar in other words if they say change by 20 means add 20 onto its current value so we're going to do that but before that we need to find out which record we want to change so I'm going to do it by CDID because that's the most unique way to do it. So I'm going to create a CDID um, variable and I'm going to type in RCDID and also exactly the same as what we did here. I'm actually going to 
copy and paste this to work smart not hard always remember work smart not hard so we're going to ask the user for a cd id and we're going to ask them to enter um, the cd id of the record you want to change so they're going to type in here which record id or what cd id of the record they want to change and let's say we want to change number record uh, 12 the 12th record okay so we're going to have this input box pop up say hey we want to change record 12 what do we want to change well we want to change the replacement value by 20 so we get those two values as input okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i need to make sure that this pointer which you can see is at record one we want to make sure that that goes down to record 12 and as you can see record 12 there's buster rhymes um, and we want to change that so we should see a result you see it's currently 120 after we've edited we should see a change to a 140 so let's do that so we're going to first locate so because we're going to do a lot of stuff with the data module i'm going to use a with dmcd and what that does because if you remember correctly that's the dmcd this is the data module that we're going to be using because our tbl cd is on it now normally you would say things like dmcd.tblcd. and all these type of things but to save us a bit of time I'm just going to use a width and what that width will do is it will add the dmcd in front of all the things that I put over here so so now I don't have to go dmcd.tbl I can just go tblcd okay so let's go I'm going to say if tblcd you see it works dot locate i'm going to locate what am i locating i'm locating in which field we're locating the cd id field it must be spelled exactly like that so in the cd underscore id field we are looking for rc our variable yeah so we're looking for number 12 in that field and then we put square bracket square bracket and then we say if that equals true that means we have found the record. That means the record has been found. Has been found. And what it has done is it's moved the pointer to that particular record. So now I'm confident that we are at the right place that we need to be. So yeah, we can say, well, we must put it, step one, into edit mode. Okay. Then we can change whichever fields we want to change. In this case, we're changing the replacement value. Now, if we were changing it to a brand new value, you could say, we well, let's make it 150. You could do that. But in this case, we want to change it by something. In other words, in other words we want to take what its current replacement value is and add on this R replacement amount. So I'm just going to say, well, we'll take whatever the replacement value is now. Oops, that's wrong. Square brackets, Mr. Long. Replacement value. Go fetch its replacement value at the moment and add on 20. But we want we want it to be able to change by that. So our replacement. So whatever that value is, we could say change by 50. Then we must change the replacement value by 50. So there we go. Hopefully we've spelled that all correctly. So that's the one field I'm changing. If there were more, I could change more. I could say TBL CD dot artist change. I can change the name of the artist. I could do also. I can change every single record if I wanted to. But once you've finished doing the changes that you want to do, then we go to the third step, which is to post the results. So if we find the record that we were looking for. We go into edit mode, we do the changes we want to do, and then we post. I'm going to actually add an else here. Because what happens if we do not find the record? So in this case, the record was not found. Then obviously we don't want to make any changes, and we want to let the person know, hey, the record wasn't found. So I'm saying record not found here. So that means we didn't find the one that they wanted to change. Maybe they type in a value, uh, CD ID of a thousand and there is no CD a thousand okay and then sometimes you will put some sort of um, show message here to give feedback the record was edited maybe you do that over there and so on so let's test it to see if it works so we run our program so 
we're going to edit the record. So let's start by picking a CD of a thousand. Okay, and we want to change it by 20 and it goes, oops, that record does not exist in our database. Well, that's fine because now I'm going to do it again. I want to change number 12 and I want to change its replacement value by 20. So whatever it was, add 20 onto it. You see it's moved to 20 and do you know, sorry, it's moved to number 12, sorry. And you see that it's now uh, 140. So therefore the change has been done. And we can confidently say that that's happened in the actual database as well. Okay, so that's doing one record. Now what happens if we want to change, let's look at our scenario. We want to change all the rock CDs by 20. So take whatever the rock CDs are at the moment and add 20 onto each of them. Okay, so in that case, we would need to do some sort of way of going through each and every record. And if it is a rock, change it. So let's do that. So I'm going to, instead of asking for the CD ID, I'm going to be asking for the genre. What genre do you want to change? Okay, so let's say genre is of type string. And instead of this, I'm going to say, get the, I'm going to get the genre. So if they select rock, we want to change all the rock. So this genre is, it's not a, integer so we can just use a plain input box and say genre genre you want to change genre you want to change and I'll put a default rock in there so there is my input box we're going to type in the genre we want to change and then we want to change those genres by 20 maybe rock has all of a sudden got a spark and their values have gone up so now we're not changing one record we are changing multiple records so this part over here i'm going to take all this part out we're still going to use the width so the changing of each record is going to be the same the only difference is we need to go through each and every record we look, look at this record is it a rock no then move on is it a rock no it move on we get ah yeah it is a rock make the change so on so we need to start at the, at the first record and move our way through so we need to go through this entire table we're going to traverse and the first step if you remember the traverse video is we start at the first record and then we say while not tbl cd dot end of file while we are not at the end of file we need to do the following things we need to have a begin and an end this is my end of my while loop okay and inside here you must remember we need to go to the next record that's the algorithm to go through each and every record we only do that at the end now over here is the, the thing that we want to do and what do we want to do we want to change all the rock cds all the genre that matches that variable so yeah i'm going to use an if statement if tbl cd i'm going to go fetch so we are at the first record go fetch the genre of this record and if it is the same as what the user has given over there as input, in this case, is it a rock? Then we want to change that record. So that means we want to do these changes here. We want to put it into edit mode. We want to change its replacement value. And then we want to post the results. We don't want to, you don't post at the end of the entire database. You do each record individually. So we found one that matches rock, go into edit mode, change the replacement value, post the results. Then it goes to the next record. Okay, maybe the next record isn't a rock, then it would skip this step and go to the next record. And so it would traverse till each and every record has been looked at. If it matches the genre, then the replacement value will be changed. Just a little tip, whenever you're doing editing with the database, make a copy of your database because if you make changes and you make a mess up, you want to be able to get the original database back. So let's have a look at what happened. You could probably have some sort of count variable over here as well. And every time you change a record, you um, increase the count. At the end, you could say a show message. So many records were changed. You could do something like that. So let's run it and see. So we're changing multiple records here. Let's take note. That's... Coldplay is a 120 and that's a 180. And if I go to another rock one, there one, Pearl Jam, that's a 150. So remember those values because now we're going to edit the rock ones and we're going to edit them by, let's make it edit by 30. 
So remember 30. So that should be a 115. That should be a 210. Do you see it went through all the records? So let's go right to the top. Do you see that's changed by 30? That is, it was 120. It's now 150. That was 180. It's now a 210. If I go to that Pearl Jam record, it was a 150. Now it's a 180. So we can confidently say all the records have been changed. So that's an example of how you change multiple records. So, key steps for changing a record, you put it into edit mode, you make the changes you want to make, it doesn't have to be one record, it could be multiple ones, and then once you've finished doing all the changes for that record, you post it. A key step as well, make sure you're at the right place, or where you, the right pointer is where you want to change, or if you want to change multiple records, you are changing the correct ones. If during this video you didn't understand what I meant by locate or traverse or when I said in the previous video we did the insert, you can go to our YouTube channel. We've got all the videos over there. Um, you can see this whole database in um, Delphi video series where you can see how you can do all these type of things. And um, follow us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter so you can see whenever we post new videos. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.